April 6, 2022. 2. Detective Lieutenant Brian P. Tully No. 3520. From, Trooper Michael Proctor No. 3863. Case, Interview of Jennifer McCabe at 12 Country Lane, Canton, Massachusetts Re, John O'Keefe Motor Vehicle Homicide. 2022-112-033. 1. On January 29, 2022, at approximately 6.04 a.m., the Canton Police Department received a 911 call for a mail party, John O'Keefe discovered unresponsive outside of 34 Fairview Road. Canton Police, Fire, and EMS responded to the scene. Canton Fire and EMS were dispatched to 34 Fairview Road for an unresponsive male discovered outside in the snow, and CPR was in progress. Canton EMS transported the victim to Good Samaritan Hospital, where he was determined to be deceased. Before being discovered the victim was at Waterfall Bar and then traveled to 34 Fairview Road for a gathering with friends. Jennifer McCabe was present at the Waterfall Bar and the residence on Fairview Road. SGT Buchanick and I met with Jennifer at 12 Country Lane on January 29, 2022. At 11.30 a.m. and agreed to speak with investigators. 2. Jennifer and her husband, Matthew McCabe, arrived at the Waterfall Bar in Canton Center at approximately 9 p.m. on Friday, January 28. At the Waterfall, they met friends for drinks and food and watched a live band. At approximately 11 p.m., John O'Keefe and Karen Red entered the Waterfall Bar from C.F. McCarthy's Bar. Jennifer and John have been friends for a long time and met Karen when the two started dating two years ago. John walked into the waterfall wearing a baseball hat, jeans, and sneakers. Jennifer observed Karen walk into the bar holding a drinking glass with a vodka mixed drink inside she left C.F. McCarthy's with. Jennifer stated there were no arguments amongst Karen and John or anyone else inside of the waterfall. Jennifer stated John and Karen did not appear to be overly intoxicated when they arrived. As the band was cleaning up, Brian Albert invited everyone back to his house at 34 Fairview Road, Canton. As everyone began to leave the waterfall, Jennifer observed John and Karen leave together. John texted Jennifer at approximately 12.14 a.m., asking, where to? Jennifer responded to John's text with the address. 34 Fairview. Jennifer spoke with John at 12.14 a.m. and provided him the address. At 12.18 a.m., John called Jennifer to inquire where exactly the house was on Fairview Road. 3. While at 34 Fairview Road, Jennifer observed a large black SUV on the street outside of the house and went to the front door. The black SUV did not pull into the driveway but parked on the street by the entrance of the driveway. Jennifer observed the black SUV parked out front and texted John, Hello. Pull up behind me, at 12.31 a.m. Jennifer texted John again at 12.40 a.m., Hello where are you, and then again at 12.45 a.m., Hello. When Jennifer sent the last text to John she observed the black SUV drive away and assumed Karen and John went home. Jennifer stated John did not reply to any of her text messages. Jennifer stated she first observed the vehicle parked on the street by the driveway facing in the direction towards Chapman St. Jennifer then observed the vehicle travel along the road towards the left side of the property in the area of where John was discovered in the morning. Jennifer and her husband left the residence at approximately 1.30 a.m. and went home. 4. At approximately 4.53 a.m. on January 29, Jennifer received a call from John's niece Kaylee. Karen was on the phone, hysterical and looking for John. Karen told Jennifer that she went home alone last night and last saw John at the Waterfall Bar. Jennifer had to correct Karen and told her they left the Waterfall Bar together and went to 34 Fairview Road. Jennifer told Karen to come to her house on Country Lane and they will go look for John together. Karen arrived at Jennifer's house in her black Lexus SUV. Jennifer stated she drove Karen's car back to John's house where Carrie Roberts met them. While driving back to John's house, Karen stated to Jennifer, 
Could I have hit him, did I hit him? Karen also told Jennifer about a broken tail light on her black SUV. Once Karen, Jennifer and Carrie arrived at John's house they looked at the broken tail light. Jennifer stated she observed a broken cracked right tail light to Karen's SUV. 5. Jennifer and Karen got into Carrie's vehicle to go look for John. Karen was in the back seat and Jennifer sat in the front passenger seat. Jennifer described the weather at this time as snowing heavily. Jennifer stated the first place they went to look for John was 34 Fairview Road. They traveled down Chapman Street and took a right turn onto Fairview Road just prior to the front yard at 34 Fairview is a group of trees on the left side of the road. Immediately passing the group of trees, Karen stated, I see him. Jennifer stated with the heavy snow her and Carrie could not see John and did not know what Karen was talking about. The three exited the vehicle, Carrie began wiping snow off John, Jennifer called 911 and Karen laid on top of him for warmth and stated, oh my god did I hit him. John was discovered on the left side of the property, the area where Karen's SUV was last seen earlier that night with approximately six inches of snow covering him. Jennifer stated Karen began mouth to mouth and when she discovered John's blood on her face stated, oh my god, do I have my period. Using a cell phone application called Life360, Jennifer was able to provide the following times. 5.39 a.m. Karen arrived at the McCabe's residence, 5.46 a.m. Jennifer, Karen and Carrie arrive at John O'Keefe House, 5.53 a.m. The three leave John O'Keefe's house and 6.04 a.m. They discover John outside of 34 Fairview Road. Respectfully submitted. JAR.MNBB Trooper Michael D., Proctor No. 3863 Massachusetts State Police Norfolk SPDU April 7, 2022 2. Detective Lt. Brian P., Tully No. 3520 From, Trooper Michael Proctor No. 3863 Case, Interview of Brian Albert at 12 Country Lane, Canton, Massachusetts Re. John O'Keefe Motor Vehicle Homicide 2022-112-033 1. On January 29, 2022 at approximately 6.04 a.m., the Canton Police Department received a 911 call for a mail party, John O'Keefe discovered unresponsive outside of 34 Fairview Road. Canton Police Fire and EMS responded to the scene Canton Fire and EMS were dispatched to 34 Fairview Road for an unresponsive male discovered outside in the snow and CPR was in progress. Canton EMS transported the victim to Good Samaritan Hospital where he was determined to be deceased. At the Waterfall Bar on Friday night, January 28, and the homeowner of 34 Fairview is Brian Albert. Brian arrived at the McCabe's house on Saturday morning and agreed to speak with investigators. 2. Brian and his wife Nicole arrived at the Waterfall Bar at approximately 10 p.m. to meet some friends. Brian only met John O'Keefe a few times and did not know Karen Reed. Brian stated when John and Karen entered the bar they appeared to be in a good mood, did not observe any arguing amongst the two or with anyone else. While speaking with John at the bar Brian stated he did not appear to be intoxicated and did not speak with Karen. When Brian and Nicole left the bar to go home, John and Karen were still inside. Brian stated he did not know John and Karen were coming to his house and were invited by Jennifer McCabe. Brian stated he would have welcomed them inside if they arrived but did not know they were coming over. Brian stated he did not see a vehicle out front of his house, did not know John and Karen were outside and did not hear any loud noises from the street. Respectfully submitted. TPP. AP. Trooper Michael D., Proctor No. 3863 Massachusetts State Police Norfolk SPDU. April 7, 2022. 2. Detective Lt. Brian P., Tully No. 3520. From. Trooper Michael Proctor No. 3863 Case, 
Interview of Matthew McCabe at 12 Country Lane, Canton, Massachusetts Re, John O'Keefe Motor Vehicle Homicide. 2022-112-0331 On January 29, 2022 at approximately 6.04 a.m., the Canton Police Department received a 911 call for a mail party, John O'Keefe discovered unresponsive outside of 34 Fairview Road. Canton Police Fire and EMS responded to the scene Canton Fire and EMS were dispatched to 34 Fairview Road for an unresponsive male discovered outside in the snow and CPR was in progress. Canton EMS transported the victim to Good Samaritan Hospital where he was determined to be deceased. At the Waterfall Bar on Friday night, January 28, and at 34 Fairview Road was Matthew McCabe. SGT Buchanick and I arrived at Matthew's residence on January 29 and agreed to speak with investigators. 2. Matthew has known John for approximately eight years and met Karen Reed a handful of times. He did not know of any medical issues John may have had. Matthew and his wife, Jennifer arrived at the Waterfall Bar at approximately 9 p.m. on Friday, January 28. Matthew stated they went to the bar to have some drinks and food with friends. Matthew stated John and Karen entered the waterfall bar by themselves and John was wearing a baseball hat with a curved visor. Matthew did not observe any arguing amongst John and Karen or with anyone else inside the bar. Matthew stated Karen was consuming a clear liquid, he believed to be a vodka drink. As the night was winding down Matthew went over to speak with the band as everyone in the bar was leaving. Matthew stated John and Karen left before him and the only people left inside of the bar were the four band members and himself. Matthew left and got into his vehicle where Jennifer was waiting for him and beard her call John to invite him to Brian's house. 3. While at 34 Fairview Road, Matthew stated he observed a big dark SUV parked to the right of the house. Matthew stated he was making these observations from the front door. Matthew stated he looked out the front window and observed the same big dark SUV had moved to the other side of the property, approximately 15 to 20 feet. Matthew was not sure how long the vehicle was outside for but did not bear any loud noises or screaming from inside. Matthew stated both times be observed the vehicle on the street the headlights were facing towards Chapman Street Matthew stated he observed tire tracks in the snow on the street in front of the house. Matthew described the pattern as a wave or V shape. Matthew stated the tire tracks went from the curb in front of 34 Fairview, towards the neighbor across the street and then back towards the curb. The pattern of the tracks were consistent with making a three-point turn. Matthew stated he did not see these tracks prior to the big black SUV arriving outside of the house. Respectfully submitted, Trooper Michael D., Proctor No. 3863 Massachusetts State Police Norfolk SPDU.